Yo, what's up guys? So I'm back with some more placement games for today. Last episode we played 1-1's game and 1-2's game. I'm gonna play 2-2's games for today. I actually enjoyed playing 2's last time, so play 2-2's games. I'm expecting it to be tough matches, as it always is starting a new season. Um, but yeah, I'm still using the glitchy decal from uh, from last video, which uh, was actually really funny. I didn't realize that all those were glitched like this, but uh, yeah. Let's get into it, see if we can get some dubs, see how it goes. All right, we got Mass against Jared and I see Mex. Not sure how to say that. I'm assuming it's that. I'm gonna call him Mex there. Ended up missing this. Take my time on this. Head around one. Teammate pushed up a little bit far. Could be bad now. He has to make up for his mistake. Good job. Just stay in front of this ball. Should be okay. Play to open space to the left side. No one can get this for a bit. He's gonna have a touch across. If I can get the boost, it's actually really important. If not, it's fine. I'm way behind here. Just gonna wait. No one can shoot that. Play it high forward. Team make a touch once, maybe? Close. I gotta play patient now. He's committed, so I have to wait for him to come back a bit. It's a good touch. He has time there on the wall. He should make a play off this. It's fine. Played over one. He's gonna have a save to the side. I can't get the boost here. He may should commit. Should try to go. I don't think he is. And then we both went, which is pretty bad, but it's okay. And I haven't been on the same page so far, but it's fine. Wow, we were, we were really not on the same page, but it's okay. Again, I have not heard a single pro not complain about the... These, <laughs> these placement games are always messy, but you gotta fight through it. I don't want to queue with someone. I think it'd be a little bit too easy. It'd be a little bit unfair. Every match wouldn't be as fun to watch. Fake first. At least there's like some, uh, there's a pretty good chance we lose these games, which is fun, I think. Keep us on our toes. Doing well though. Looking for opportunities to shoot well. Good job for my teammate there. Good 50. But again, we gotta stay close enough for recovering if they can beat us or if we can shoot. We wanna stay in the middle of that. Did a good job there of doing that. He passed this right, actually, but it should have been a goal, I think, but most people don't look for that in private or solo Q2s. It was a good goal still. But yeah, he passed that right. It's a shot that's too quick for Mex to get back to. It's just a goal straight up. But a lot of twos is uh, just selfish play. It's a lot of very solo play based stuff. So I don't blame him. Decent touch. Just gotta wait. He should have us on the back for it. Oh, he's not on the back wall. Okay. Makes me have to panic a little bit because I wasn't sure how close the other guy was. Nice. Should be a goal. Actually, I'm on his back. Just gonna let him touch it. Play up the wall to myself. Oh. Well, I think I was scoring that. I'm pretty sure I would have went to the ceiling. Had a lot of time. And a flip. That was good. Good to roll up the wall like that when you have the space. But yeah, good first match against the next one. See so me keep it up. See how it goes. I got Mans are flying versus Aug and Mass from last game. It was on our team. Trying to beat him here. Can't shoot it, but could create some pressure for us. Uh, that was actually really bad for me. Yeah, I thought his shot was gonna be thirty times better than that. It was so it was so weak, so weak. Never expect the weak shot. And you get. When you're like playing pro scrims constantly, you get conditioned to the perfect shots. You get conditioned to playing the first killers, the beast modes, hitting top corners every single time. Then you play this, and then uh, all of that goes out the window because you can never expect. You never know what to expect when someone's shooting the ball. Where's my teammate? All right. Gotta take my time here. Go to the ground with this. 
I'm gonna fake it again. It's probably gonna go too high. I notice everyone's biggest mistake that they're making in these games is they're just pushing up way too far. Way, way too far. Like, I'm in a position where I can react to when he gets beat to this, but I feel like everyone else is in a position where they can't react if it goes badly. They're only there for, like, best case scenario, which is not good. Especially in twos, it's, like, actually a really bad habit to have in twos. Played around them, maybe? Just 50 is good. It's a good save. Just gonna wait. Alright, you should have a touch to the right side, and I can follow it. Off the wall for my teammate. Should have a shot here. It's fine. He reads it. Still have control. Should be a goal, maybe? I'm gonna fake this. This becomes a little bit awkward now, but should be fun. So I bait him in a bit. Got a bump one. Good idea. Nice. Good turn there. Again, for your cheats and twos, you want to be in a position where you can... Like, worst case scenario, you can react to um, the ball goes over your head. You want to be there for that, and that's the biggest thing you should be covering. I don't like that area at all, but it's okay. It, it kind of makes me have to go back when you go for a touch like that. See what we can do with this. Good shot, good save. It's a good touch. Nice. That I'll stay for. The other one, the problem with that is we have a big counter there. Both the other players are coming back. If you go for a perfect shot read like that, I'm gonna have to also full commit, which means if they save my shot, they not they not get a free goal out of our breakaway, which should have been a goal for sure. So you're kind of making it easier for them to return and are making our chance of scoring very low percentage. Which I don't like going for those very, very um, risky tight angles on like an empty net. It's not very efficient, I'd say. Even if you're very good at hitting them. But I'm confident I can hit those kind of shots pretty consistently and I still would not go for them because I just don't think it's smart. And also makes your teammates life a lot more difficult. Like 9 out of 10 times to do that, you're making your teammate have to go all the way back, which is not good. You want to make it as easy for your teammate to read you as possible. Play it around him. So good. This should be a goal. Close. I played over one. Again, good try. Ah, same problem I was talking about. Exact same thing. And that's the same problem that I see with every player in this rank right now. Is he's too pushed up playing on one. He's playing one situation. You want to play multiple. You want to put yourself in a spot where you're playing a lot of different outcomes so you can be the most valuable to your team. In every situation, I'm pretty much ready for my teammate to get beaten out pretty hard. In every single situation. Like, right, I'm playing around here most of the time. So now that I, I can shoot this, I go for it. But, again, if my teammate got beat to that, I would have been back very easily to save it. There's not going to be any free goals going in like that. Very, very hard to shoot that. I didn't want to hit it into my teammate and then we get scored on. But it was the right, right play to make to go for it. That's the biggest issue I see, even against the... Even on the other team, like what they're committing on and what they're choosing to to aggress on is just not worth it most of the time. Play it over one, just let him hit this. See, so yeah, I'm like I'm like ready for my teammate to get beat every time. I'm in a position where I can actually get back to it. And there's no like, oh wow, okay. I'm not gonna go for that. It's too risky. Just let him hit it to me. You gotta take the boost now, which is even better. Makes them take even longer to get toward our side. This now becomes bad. That's okay, we got back to it. I'm gonna fake this really quick up. Then hit it over him, hopefully. I was going for a goal there. Just trying to keep pressure. Try to just beat him. I didn't think I did not think I could just shoot to be honest. I didn't even try to flip into it. I thought they were gonna get back first. I'm just gonna fake here. Nice. 1v1 now. 
He's got to wait. He's probably going to have this. So we got bomb. Hard to expect that, but it's a good bomb. I'm going to stay on this. Ah, oh, that's a good play. I dodged the bomb twice from the other guy. Team has to get one big hit and we're good. Not the best, but good follow up. I'm gonna flick it high. Flick this. There we go. Alright, because the first game wasn't early forfeit, I'll play one more match. Let's get into it. See if we can finish the video off with another win. And be, I think, four games done. Yeah, we're three done right now. Let's get to the next one. See how it goes. All right, for the last game, we got Icon against Jay Green and 16. Let's see how this goes. Try to take a quick shot. Good save. I'm going to go all the way back here. Try to get behind my teammate. Been a cut for me. That's fine. Put over one, which is good. I'm going to play for the mid boost here. Maybe she went for the other boost as well, but that's fine. Saw an opening to go for a shot there. Better play to make, I think. Ball over boost. That's my teammate, a control. First touch. Try to play this. Hide to myself. Let my teammate shoot. I heard him up. I can go quick for it. Nice. Saw he was going to get bumped, so I went quick for it. I was going to jump for that ball, but I heard my teammate. Right here. I gave up. I flipped away. <laughs> play behind here. Team I should go. I'll just play back post. If it's over him, it should be okay. Soft to myself. Play over one. 40 boost still. Just gonna wait behind him. Good beat. He has no shot though, and I can go straight back. Take some pads on the way. He's playing for the boost first. Smart play from him. Just waited for him to come to me for the 50. Try to bait him in here. Try to 50 this middle, maybe? Good 50. I can just stay in front. Still goes middle. Good try. A nice shot. There we go. I was trying to get it middle anyway, I could, so. Positioning my car for that. Play for the boost. Off the wall, nice. Soft to myself here. Quick first touch. I played around one. It's gonna be good for my teammate to go if he wants to. Just gonna fake here. Fake jump again. Fake jump again here. I can panic a little bit. See what we can do. I'm gonna fake this as well. Saving our boost and all those fakes is really good. Stay in front of this. Hit 50. If I can kill him, it'd be good. If not, it's fine. I'm just gonna wait. Let him flick this. He's gonna panic eventually. That helped my teammate out. Probably not gonna be able to get there. We should come back. I didn't. It's fine though. Got a bump if he goes. Then delay is his path on that. And I bumped the other guy. It's actually really good. Nice bump for my teammate. Try to block him to the right here. Should also give my teammate a huge advantage. Because he has to that around me, and if he does that, more toward my teammate. I can just wait. Oh, skip demo. Gonna be a goal. The last back for a while there. Chose to play the patient route. I could have just dove into it, but if I did that, probably goes up out middle. And I'm last back, I have no help still, so. Probably still score it anyway. Ah, uh, I forgot that boost would have been good. I'm gonna fake. I wanna get a bad touch. Nice touch. Play this to myself on the wall. I save my boost here. Get it around him last second. There we go. That's good. This gives me boost to recover with. That's why I like saving my boost in situations. I know I can't shoot off this. So I'm just trying to fake it. 
get a touch over him very last second because he's not going to be able to react in time. I'm going to fake him. Good save. Challenge for my teammate here. Go back now. Actually going to be awkward but I can just try to wait. But I had to save, I pretty sure. Gonna fake this, go ground. If I hit it around him as well. Last second would have been good. Good challenge, my teammate. Oops. Played high forward. Myself on the wall. Play for their corner boost here. He's probably gonna go for it, so. Oh, he has a reach. I have a flip here. Kind of play for the flip reset double, but well done from them. They had it covered. <laughs> I was trying to destroy presence, maybe make him flick into his own net, panic a bit. Nice. Good play. They should forfeit, yeah. Alright, good games today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is, you guys are watching this, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.